for the coming months with recession fears at the forefront and the Fed grappling with the highest inflation rate in 40 years. And it's not just a problem on the home front. Currency in Europe is grabbing the attention of analysts as the euro has sunk to its weakest level against the dollar in nearly two decades. The drop has sparked economic worries across the globe with a sharp slowdown in the eurozone business growth and an energy crisis in Europe contributing to the euro's decline. Global leaders have a complicated economic puzzle to solve, only fueled further by oil prices dropping below $100 a barrel. News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan breaks down what this means for consumers. Now, oil did drop below $100 a barrel. In early trading today, it's slightly back above. But we haven't seen this since May, and Citigroup says we might hit $65 a barrel by the end of the year. So considering all that, are we going to see some relief at the gas pump anytime soon? Well, it's, it's interesting. Investors and economists actually look at gas prices going down as a bad thing for the economy. They see that as you know a sign of flagging demand from consumers, and they see that as an indicator of a potential recession concern. You're right. Um, you know, oil did climb a bit higher today, um, but you know, across the board, I think some of the supply chain issues we've been experiencing are easing and we will see prices sort of stabilize and, and I think we saw a huge spike in May and, and in the last few months and I think we're going to see that come a bit a bit lower. So I think a lot of people would welcome lower oil prices if it means lower gas prices but you're saying the people that pay attention to the economic indicators are looking at oil prices dropping and they're saying alarm bells are going off we might be headed to a recession. Yeah, it, it is counterintuitive, but it is a sign of flagging demand in the economy. And, and, you know, of course, we've been talking about this for several weeks now. The Fed is trying to combat rising inflation. And can they do that without, you know, cooling the economy down so much that we enter into a recession? The Fed is going to be releasing minutes later today, which sort of gives us insight into what they're talking about um, in their meetings, so investors will be watching that closely as well. Yeah, that meeting of the Federal Open Markets Committee, when the, when the uh, minutes come out, it's always, uh, like you said, a gauge into what their thinking is. But gas is up 48% over the last year. Gas prices do typically surge in this summertime, so um, what exactly, and the Fed can't really do anything about that, but they are going to probably talk about increasing interest rates. So what do you expect to come out of those Fed minutes? Yeah, and, and I just want to note, too, I mean, there's so many things that affect the price of oil. Yesterday, there was news that there was had been a strike in Norway that was finally ended, and that was affecting the supply of gas. So there's a lot of things that go into this. And then, of course, yes, in the summer months, people typically are taking road trips. They're going on vacation, and the demand for, for gas increases substantially. Historically, it has gone up uh, in July as, as people are buying more gas. So we will see if there is flagging demand this year or if we see, you know, just a, a continuation of the trend where, where gas prices are, are going up in the summer months. And that right. we, we will be paying close attention to that. All right. Lydia Moynihan is in New York for us. Again, inflation is up 8.6 percent. Wage growth, that means you getting a raise. It's only up 5.5 percent. So certainly not keeping pace at this time. Thank you, Lydia. Still ahead, we have some breaking news. We've been covering this story out of Highland Park. Police. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.